Hi friends, welcome to episode 16. Can't believe we've made it this far, but I'm so excited for what's next. Tomorrow morning I'm attempting to run three and a half hours in preparation for the marathon. It's very exciting and very nerve-wracking at the same time. Also in other news, today we're going to be talking about thirds and dividing your screen into thirds. Now before we move on to dividing your screen into thirds, I wanted to make a quick note to both buyers and sellers out there. In our highly competitive market, a lot of people are opting to waive their inspection rights. And before you do, I just want to make a note to both buyers and sellers out there. For buyers, it's pretty apparent that when you waive your inspection rights, you're waiving your right to check on the property and make sure there are no outstanding things that are wrong with it. A number of years ago, the seller's property disclosure was introduced, and a lot of people were afraid that it would mean that sellers would get sued. Fortunately, that did not turn out to be the case, but I think that largely has to do with the fact that buyers were still performing inspections. When you accept an offer where the buyer writes that they are going to waive their inspection rights, you as the seller are taking on additional liability. But if you allow a buyer to do, still do an inspection, even if the buyers decide to waive their objection, it's beneficial for both of you. Anyway, that's enough about inspections. Let's get back to the video on dividing your screen into thirds. Now that we've taken a look at lighting and framing in their basic form, we're going to introduce a new topic, dividing your screen into thirds. In most camera viewfinders, what you'll find is two vertical lines and two horizontal lines that intersect in the middle, creating nine squares. These are what we're going to use to talk about thirds. Most vloggers choose to frame themselves in the middle of the screen. For more of a film look though, you can put one of your subjects on one of the two vertical lines, like I'm doing now. At this point in the videos, you may realize that I don't always follow the rules of filmmaking. And you don't have to either. The rules of film are malleable. You can use them or not use them as you choose, and you can interchange the ones that you use at any time. How you use them is really what defines your creative style. When filming an interview, put one subject in one of the thirds, and put the other subject in the other third. When it comes to framing an interview, use those lines to not only place your subjects, to figure out and make sure that their eye line is on the same line. It should be a meeting of equals, and likewise in frame, you want to line their eyes up at the same place. Well, that's all I have to say about dividing your screen into thirds. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below. If you have any comments or concerns, leave them in the comment box. And if you're looking for real estate in Colorado Springs, I am a real estate agent with Keller Williams Client's Choice Realty. Happy to help you find or sell your home. Until next time, take care.